In each of the examples below, we're asked to multiply the given fractions and then leave our answers as both an improper fraction and a mixed number if possible. Let's look at the first one. We're going to multiply 1 fourth times 3 halves. This is going to be the same process we use to build up equivalent fractions. In other words, if I'm multiplying 1 fourth times 3 half, that's the same thing as multiplying 1 times 3 over 4 times 2. I can see there are no common factors between the numerator and denominator, so if I multiply the top, I get 3 times 1 is 3, and 4 times 2 is 8, and that is my final result. Looking at part B, we have a little bit of a special case here where I'm multiplying a fraction times a whole number. But let's remember that a whole number can be written as a fraction if we insert a denominator of 1. So now it looks a little better because we have the multiplication of two fractions. I can multiply straight across 5 times 4 over 8 times 1. However, I have a common factor between 4 and 8. So before I start multiplying everything, I'm going to remove common factors. 8 is 2 times 4. And I'm going to leave out the times 1 because we don't really need that. So now I can see that I have common factors of 4. I'm going to remove. That's going to give me 5 over 2. There's my improper fraction result. 2 goes into 5 2 times with 1 left over, my remainder over the fraction. There is my mixed number, and those are my two results.